Yo, hello everybody, Dane here. How, what's my intro? It's been a long time since I've filmed an intro, I guess. Uh, anyway, it is haul time for August. I have two books to show you. These are both gifts from Shay. Um, I don't have any money at the moment, so I'm not buying any books. So uh, having said that, actually, I am going to visit my mum next week in the Midlands. So we might hit up some charity shops. So I might pick up some while I'm there. We'll see. Uh, I'm not reading as much as I normally read anyway. So it's not the end of the world. But uh, yes, I will haul these two books for you. Roll the intro video. Dane reads. Okay, so Shay got me these two books. She got me Ilka Heinemann, 101 Things to Do Instead of Playing on Your Phone. And these are just cute ideas, things you can do instead of playing on your phone. So 43, write an advertising slogan for your favorite hobby, your favorite drink. Um, well, that's just work. That's like literally what I do for work is slogans and stuff. Write your own bedtime story so you're not stuck for ideas when you next need one. Also sounds a lot like work. Okay, here we go. Number 35, clear your mind, don't think, just be. Write down what you thought about when your mind was meant to be clear. I just thought about Just Be by DJ Tiesto. What else we got? Um, cut out the page opposite and make a paper airplane. I believe I can fly. So yeah, some good stuff in this. What animal would you like to be reincarnated as? I would like to be reincarnated as a cat because my cats live the life of Riley. Uh, and she also got me You Like It Darker by Stephen King. So she asked me to pick out a book that I really wanted. And I did give her like Rama 3. Um, the third book in the Rama series by Arthur C. Clarke. But basically, I just need a cheap copy of that because that's just where I'm at in this series. Um, and she wanted to get me like a special book. So I was like, okay, the new Stephen King. Uh, she gave me this copy and she wrote in the cover, to Dane, I love you so much. Enjoy the book, Love Shay. Um, so very exciting. All righty, everybody. Um, I have some books to haul for you. I have a huge stack. But literally, it's, it's insane. I don't know how we're going to do this. Uh, I went to the charity shops when I went to visit my mum and went a bit crazy. Uh, I also actually need to add all of these to Goodreads, which is going to take me a fair old minute. But uh, I guess I'll do it a bit of a time. Anyway, let's see what we got. Okay, we've got The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Um, all I know is that this is about vampires. Not vampires? Is it about vampires? I don't even know what it's about. Twilight's about vampires. And then I got very confused. This is maybe about aliens. I literally have no idea. But anyway... Oh, that's creepy. So yes, The Host. Uh, what else we got? The It Girl by Ruth Ware, uh, one of the authors I'm just working my way through. Uh, okay, The Way of the Runner, A Journey into the Obsessive World of Japanese Running by Adharanand Finn. Um, just slowly adding books to, to sort of support my obsession with running, you know? Darren Brown, Tricks of the Mind. Now, I may have tried to read this before. I can't remember. I think I did because I think I just saw that here we're looking at memory. Um, and I remember reading all about how you're meant to use those. Uh, you make like rooms inside your head and then you have objects inside the rooms. And that's how you can memorize like a large number of things. At the time, I wasn't too interested and I DNF'd it. So I'm going to give it another go, uh, especially since because since then, obviously, I've memorized loads of poems and stuff. Uh, we have The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Don't think too much needs to be said about that one. We have Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulle. So I had no idea that Planet of the Apes was a novel and it's a vintage as well. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Planet of the Apes movie. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, read it and then, oh wow, it's cool. I wondered, I did see it, it says on the front, uh, it's a 3D cover with glasses included and it does, it still have the glasses, even though I've got it second hand. Oh, wow. Yeah, that kind of is 3D. Kind of. Kind of. Only just. I don't know whether I can even... I guess I can't put it on the, the thing like that, because you need to look at it through both, don't you? But, um, that's cool. Awesome. Oh, well, that's a little Brucey bonus. And yeah, I'll probably read that and then um, watch some of the adaptations of it as well. I got uh, 27 Wagons Full of Cotton and Other Plays by Tennessee Williams. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Streetcar Named Desire. And um, there was another one of his. I think I read another one of his as well um, that was incredible. Oh, this has got highlights and um, little notes in it as well. Someone's obviously read this for, for school or something. So that's really cool. Okay, this is like just a small section so far. 
We have the governor by Lenny McLean. He's just basically known like, look what I am, a hard bastard. He was actually in lock, stock and two smoking barrels and then I think he died not long afterwards. Um, but yeah, he was, he was known as a hard guy, a gangster. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Sophie Hanna, kind of cruel. Um, just slowly working my way through all of Sophie Hanna's books. Uh, we have, and another thing by Aaron Colfer. So um, this is the sixth part of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trilogy, uh, written after Douglas Adams' death by the guy who wrote the Artemis Fowl books. I've never read Colfer before. I actually didn't even know that this book existed. And then um, somebody mentioned it on Booktube and I was like, wow, okay. Well, now I know that that exists. I need to get it. It was just a nice little bit of luck that uh, I happened to spot it. Okay. Speaking of Booktube, I heard about this one on Booktube back in the day. This is In Order to Live by uh, Yeonmi Park. So basically, uh, she fled uh, North Korea. And um, this is kind of her memoir, I guess, of what it was like to be grown up, to grow up in North Korea. Uh, we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Again, another Booktube classic. All I know is that it takes place during the Second World War. Um, and I like Second World War stuff. This stack over here, so these two I actually got from Tesco when I was back at home. Uh, we have The Risk of Darkness by Susan Hill. It's just a Susan Hill book, what can I say? Again, read, trying to read all the things she's got. I got Classic Treasury Princess Tales by Miles Kelly Pub uh, Publishing. Uh, this is just because, well, I saw it, and um, it's nice, a nice thing that Shay and I do sometimes is I will read her a bed before we go to, uh, read her a story before we go to sleep. So um, it's nice to have a physical book rather than having to keep Google, you know, bedtime stories. I've got Megan Mogg by Helen Nicole and Jan Pienkowski. Um, I used to love this as a kid. I don't remember anything about it. So I'm kind of going in blind on that. We have H.P. Lovecraft, The Call of Thulu and other weird stories. I don't know how many of these stories I've read. Um, actually, it's got Dagon in there and I do remember reading that one. We got Let the Right One In by John Advid Lindquist. Um, yeah, about vampires. Again, can't come in unless you let me in. We have The Venus Hunters by J.G. Ballard. So some pretty solid um, sci-fi, um, which is interesting because later Ballard or some of his more well-known stuff is kind of less sci-fi and more, I don't know, societal commentary. More, um, what would you call it? Speculative fiction, I guess. Uh, I got The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury. Big fan of finding these old uh, sci-fi books. I got Blind Spot by Paula Hawkins. Um, you know, contemporary thriller writer who I've read a few bits by. We have Confessions of an Unlikely Runner by Dana L. Ayers. Again, another book about running. So um, she's a former White House staffer and current military reservist and consultant. This looks quite easy to read as well. It's quite like nicely spaced and apparently it's meant to be quite funny as well. The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories by Tim Burton. I mean, it's Tim Burton. Uh, it's also got all these illustrations and it's very pretty. Um, but I've wanted to get to this kind of ever since hearing about it. I'm not a huge Tim Burton fan, but I'm interested in his mind, you know. We have Bill Hicks, Love All The People, Letters, Lyrics, Routines. A big Bill Hicks fan. I got into Bill Hicks when I was at uni, actually. Shout out to my friend James, who's also a writer buddy. Um, we used to go back to his after the bar and watch Bill Hicks routines. So yeah, excited to get to that. Ralph Ellison, Invisible Man. I've uh, read a couple of Ralph Ellison bits and really enjoyed them. Invisible Man is his most well-known one. It's actually called here, one of the most important American novels of the 20th century. And uh, yeah, very excited to get to that. And finally, Graham Greene Country, visited by Paul Hogarth, forward and commentary by Graham Greene. And this was a hell of a find because Graham Greene is one of my favorite authors. And this has got Paul Hogarth apparently went around and like did all these illustrations of the places that are in the novels. And it's got commentary throughout by Graham Greene and then Hogarth's own diaries as well. It's a really beautiful book, one I'd not heard of. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, well, I have to get that. It's one of those that not a lot of people would be interested in, but Graham Greene fans just I don't think we have to get enough of it. It was $3.95, but it was worth it. So those are all of the books that I got in August. I don't expect to get many in um, September, but we will see, maybe I will. In fact, I probably will, because there's a free book place that's opened. It's currently just gone midnight on the 2nd of September, and this free book place is open in town that I might visit tomorrow. Uh, being as it's only just opened, I figure I should go in quickly before all the good books go. 
So yes, maybe I will get some in September. But in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.